welcome again to yet another vlog we're doing a quick quick 30 minutes face bit for those days when you're rushing and you need to get your face a bit up or for those days when you're rushing to work do an event and 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 so this is the video for you i'll also be trying out the new Foshini or woman foundation that i'll be trying out usually i use the maybelline but today i'm using a completely different one so stay tuned this is the video for you and i also won't be going through like thoroughly step to step on what to do because on my previous videos i've already outlined the step by step getting your brows done and matching your foundation to your skin tone if you are new here thank you so much for giving me the chance please do not forget to hit the subscribe button the like and leave a nice comment for me thank you so much and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for the support i truly truly appreciate it i hope everybody watches this video all right through to the end of it so right now it's just doing my brows um i usually use my concealer i've still stuck with it um the la pro girl fawn shade in fawn shade i do my brows using a a pencil a normal pencil and and there you saw the woman or woman foundation from Foshini. um it's quite matte very full coverage i love it i am enjoying it i got it as a gift and i think i'm going to be going back for more um so the shade is perfect for a caramel skin tone um, if I were to compare it with my other brand that I've used before, I'd definitely give it a hmm, 8 out of 10. <laughs> 8 out of 10. Um, but I definitely recommend it. I love it. So there, I'm just blending my face. Um, please do not forget you moisturize. You tone your face, you moisturize, put on a sunscreen, put on a primer, and then I usually put on color mine just so it holds in the sweat. It's And I would normally put on color mine in a weather that is too extremely, like extremely hot for it to hold the sweat. So please do not forget, you must blend your makeup. Blend, blend, blend. And I've also previously discussed that, mm, my wine. <laughs> I've also discussed that I prefer a blender over brushes or any other method you might know of. Do not forget to put on your makeup. Just put on that makeup. Put on put it on and then you're going to blend 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 until your hands get tired blend it out and then I'm setting up my foundation using a powder like I said sometimes it gets extremely hot now this is the best prep that I would go for for these like that it just makes sure that my makeup makeup stays intact throughout the whole day so there I am setting, setting, setting. Here I use the, the Maybelline Fit Me uh, setting powder. Yes, I used it. And now we move to my favorite part, the contouring. Put on your concealer there and your darker shades on the side, on the lining of your nose and your, your cheeks. And then you have it blended out. Usually just let it sit for a few seconds, even if, even if it's just for a minute let your concealer sit and then you blend it out blend it out blend blend and by the way the same concealer i am using to contour is the same concealer i used for my brows which is a fun shade from la pro girl Try to keep your hands steady while you contour your nose so that you get the best shape out of it. And now we're going to be moving on to our powdering part, part of the contouring. You contour according to your face shape. So in accordance to my face shape, that's the technique that I use. You go right through to your cheeks you contour you blend you blend you blend i used uh, the ella pro girl chestnut pressing powder for contouring i prefer it over the liquid 
um, the liquid contouring palettes. I prefer powder over anything. I definitely enjoy my cap serve. Mm. <sighs> Moving right along. Now I am using a banana powder from what's this brand? Smudge. Smudge is the brand. So that's the banana powder that I'm using from Smudge. You can get Smudge from your blue store at a very reasonable price. Lining out my lips. I normally use a brown shade to line out my lips. But if I'm, use, if I'm going to be putting on red lipstick, I normally would go for black. It just gives a nice two-toned um, look to it. So right now, because I'm forever the girl that goes into nude lipstick I am definitely going for brown brush off your banana powder nicely so please allow it to sit allow it to sit for some time before brushing it off Correct, correct, correct my face. And remember, this is an everyday look, so I did not put on eyeshadows. No, nothing extreme because we are doing this face bit in 30 minutes or less. We are running out of time. Put on your shimmer that I usually use from LA Pro Girl. I would normally also put on my blush that I use. It's from Estee Lauder. I forgot the code for it, but I would normally put on the blush and then the the shimmer thereafter. Line up, put on your eyeliner. And now we're going to be putting on our lashes. I've also have a video up there where I teach people how to put on your eyelashes. So look it up and please do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe please. And the glue that I use for my lashes is the eyelid glue from the green store. The green store is discount, by the way. <laughs> and now I'm setting my makeup all done with the L'Oreal setting spray. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you do not forget to subscribe. Look how beautiful I look. Mm. Stay beautiful.